Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly read. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Ooh, someone here is not doing well. Someone here is really regretting a decision. Someone here is in a lot of pain. Um, someone here is not feeling like there's any hope for this situation. So let's see what we have going on here. So I'm going to pull three um, oracle cards here, one for each of these. So here we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, and we have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. So I feel like you guys connected because you are uh, soulmates, but we have to keep in mind that sometimes we're not always meant to actually stay with our soulmate. They're here to teach us a lesson. So <clears throat> if you've been asking yourself, why do I keep going back to this person? It's not working. There's a soul. You guys are just magnetically like attracted to each other because there's that soulmate connection. Um, oh, sorry guys. Where's my thing? Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Devil, Capricorn energy. So guys, I'm feeling that um, a lot of you are feeling that the, yeah, in the past, you guys felt like this connection had what it took to actually make it to the finish line, okay? Um, intuitively, because you felt that soulmate connection, you felt like this was your person, with that ten of pentacles you felt like this was going to be abundant um the way you guys showed love to each other with the magician there you th this is a very strong connection you felt like this connection had the love the passion you felt like it had um what it took okay but with it ending with that devil card now you're feeling like it was all a lie so when we're ending with the devil card here and the magician here you're starting to feel like all the everything that you thought was positive now you're starting to see it as manipulation Okay, now you're starting to see it as manipulation. Somebody here may have been manipulating you for money, um, you know, emotional manipulation for, for money or to use you in some way or because, you know, they wanted to just steal or take your abundance, okay? And that could come even at, even if you're like, but gee, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have money. You know what I'm saying? This person wasn't using me for anything. Sometimes you'd be surprised. It could just be your energy that they're feeding off of. All right. So this person in some way, shape or form, where once you thought that this was, you know, you guys were brought together, like it was divinely guided. It was a soulmate connection. You thought it was going to work. Now you're starting to realize that it was all manipulation and lies. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. We've got the world. Okay. A karmic cycle ending, something new beginning here the magician the queen of swords aquarius gemini uh libra energy i feel like a lot of you are shutting the door on this person you're not trusting this person anymore tell me about this high priestess with the sun here now you see the truth for what it is tell me about this ten of pentacles the five of swords so this person may have thought that you know what i'm saying if they walked away or if they hurt you that it would affect you in some way maybe affect you making money affect your work or hurt you in some way but it was an empty victory because all it did was show their true colors okay so this person may have attempted to start a power war with you i'm getting um because the magician manifests like they're, they're this could be like someone who comes and goes okay so this person may think that by, you know what I'm saying, ghosting you or dipping on you, using emotional manipulation, that, you know, they were able to gain power or gain control over the situation, but they're, it's backfiring. It's backfiring because the only thing they succeeded in doing is waking you up to the truth. Spirit Temple, okay, well, these two popped out. Yeah. You're starting to realize, see, there's that Knight of Cups again. We have that Knight of Cups right here. You're starting to realize the painful truth of what this person was really up to, and it was toxic and it was toxic. It was lies. It wasn't real. It was manipulation. You're starting to realize here that what this person was bringing to the table was um, nothing like what they actually presented themselves to be, okay? So here we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. 
okay so that's real love there and then we have abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss so here spirit is saying if you are looking for real love right now you are in a place where you can actually manifest this okay king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy the page of cups more water energy here we have the star aquarian energy we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so what I'm getting here, guys, is with the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is very committed. The King of Cups is very loyal. The King of Cups is very emotional, but they know how to master that emotion, okay? And with the Star card here, the Star is all about wish fulfillment. It's all about manifesting. It's all about being open to the universe, the your guides, your angels, um, God, answering those prayers, hoping and wishing for um, your prayers, your manifestations to be answered. So I'm, I feel that what Spirit is telling you here, because manifestation does require focus, okay? So guys, if you're looking to manifest love and abundance into your life, Spirit is saying to take control of your emotions. Don't let this distract you, what this person did. Take control of your emotions. Learn how to master that emotions. Learn how to focus and concentrate. And with that star, pray, manifest, because with that abundance card, it's saying that right now, whatever you ask for with this page of cups, okay, whatever you, you know what I'm saying, with that eight of pentacles, whatever you put work into, whatever you ask for, um, with the six of cups, I'm feeling that Maybe a lot of you are looking for a past life soulmate or a soulmate connection because the Six of Cups can be balance, okay? A balanced energy, a balanced connection. Some of you may be manifesting this ex to actually love you, okay? So this person that once manipulated you, for some of you, you can actually be manifesting that this person falls in love with you. So let's see what we have here. Tell me about the King of Cups, please, Spirit. The High Priestess. You see what I'm saying? Uh, with the high priestess cancer pisces energy um this is all about you not speaking not you know letting god do the work okay you're you're not speaking here you're not having emotional outbursts you're not doing anything you're being very quiet you're concentrating on what you want and just hoping that the universe gives it to you see we have the strength card that popped out so i feel like your ability to manifest is very strong right now leo energy tell me about the page of cups please we have the empress here the empress so whatever new beginning whatever that the empress is all about fertility and looking to create so again with that ace of wands whatever it is that you're manifesting praying for whatever it is that you're looking to create okay it's it's the universe god is listening right now okay your, your chances for manifestation are very high tell me about the eight of pentacles the knight of wands leo sagittarius aries energy um so you may be currently working on this person to be more committed i'm feeling like maybe this person is a very free spirit they like to play games and yeah you see for some of you okay for some of you, you what you're actually doing here is trying to manifest this person's growth okay so in the past, maybe this person was a player, not serious, in and out, you know what I'm saying, this toxic lying energy here. For a lot of you, you may be manifesting and praying that this person goes from the Knight of Wands to the Emperor, uh, which is a huge jump, okay? The Emperor is not romantic, the, jump, the Emperor is usually older, okay? Um very like strict kind of you know what i'm saying very stuck in their ways very stubborn um this is not an impulsive person you know give me one more on the six of cups ten of wands i'm feeling that this is someone you want to be able to share your burden you feel like you need someone to lean on you need someone strong in your life too and this person is too in and out as soon as they have to put the work in they dip as soon as they have to put work into the connection, they're just out. They get on their horse and they go. And they go. Meanwhile, what you need is a balanced connection, a balanced soulmate connection where when things get too heavy for you, this big strong emperor comes in and you can lean on this emperor. Gender doesn't matter here, guys. Okay? So let's see what we have here. We have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So guys, whatever you're manifesting, okay? I don't, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, I don't feel this is going to be the same person. I feel like this emperor is someone new coming in, someone strong coming in, someone to help share your burden. Because 
but I feel like you guys are, you have a past life soulmate coming in with this healing heart card. Let me read this again. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. So here we go. You're freeing yourself of this person. You're freeing yourself from this person's lies. You're freeing yourself from this energy where as soon as somebody needs to listen, you know, because the eight of, of pentacles also talks about studying and learning, okay? So this is telling me that whenever you need to speak, whenever you need to, you need this person to really listen and focus on you and your wants and needs, they get in their car and they go and, you know, have a one night stand or they go drinking with their friends. They're very immature, okay? And you're manifesting here a a true soulmate, a past life soulmate, somebody that I feel like what you want more than anything is someone who really knows you, someone who really understands you, and who better to come in and understand your soul than someone that you've been with in another life, right? So we have this past life relationship coming in. For some of you, this could be you guys yearning for an ex. Don't forget, like right now, when I'm this is timeless, but when I'm making this video, um, we do have Mercury retrograde coming in, okay. But for some of you, this could actually be um, you're looking for somebody that is similar to your father in your life, okay? Someone that can share burden with you, someone that you could lean on. And for others of you, it's it's you're looking for that deep, so like someone that is in a higher vibration than from you, okay? Someone that can actually help you in life instead of you always being the one to carry the burden, okay? <laughs> so you're freeing yourself from this toxicity and moving towards this beautiful past life relationship for others of you it could actually be an ex that you were with before that was more stable in your life so we've got the five of pentacles and the hermit virgo energy we have the empress aries taurus libra cancer energy the strength card leo energy and the judgment card so with the five of pentacles this is you either being blocked or blocking somebody the hermit here is you're doing this because i feel um guys that you need some time to yourself to really figure out what you want to manifest don't forget the hermit withdraws to really analyze the situation to really go within do some soul searching and see what needs to be done with the Empress here, I feel like this is the best thing that you can do for yourself because you are standing up, you are putting up those boundaries, you're knowing your worth, knowing what you deserve, and going after what you guys want, okay? And you want to create strength. You want to create uh, a strong foundation for yourself. Whatever you build, whatever you create, you want it to be strong. And with the judgment call, I feel like this is truly over because this is like judgment day. This is your final decision, and I think that you know that you need and deserve better and with that five of cups you can be feeling a little sad about making this decision but really i feel like this is this toxic energy here with this five of cups they know that they've screwed up for the last time yeah see we got the four of cups that just popped out that's rejection so i feel like this person this playboy energy here or playgirl energy here this person who's been lying and doing the emotional manipulating they're going to regret it Okay, they are going to regret it big time. Okay, so here we have a lot of communication with this Eight of Wands. I feel that there's gonna you're going to really tell this person and block them out. Like, listen, I don't want you anymore. I've seen the truth. I've seen your true colors. Stay away from me. Okay, this person is going to come in trying to talk to you. Tell me about the Hermit here. The Page of Pentacles. You're starting to realize how immature this person is. You're starting to realize how little they have to offer you. Okay, and with the death card here, scorpionic energy, you're realizing that this has to change. Okay, we can't have a page and an empress here. We can't, you know what I'm saying? We've got a knight and a high priestess, a page and a king. We've got an empress and a page. The imbalance here is just so crazy, okay? You know, meanwhile, I'm seeing an emperor and an empress on the board. You're asking and yearning for your counterpart, for the person that truly matches you, and that can actually help you move forward and create in life. The empress, you want new love here. You want new and real love here, strong love, the strength card, the page of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. You are looking for something strong, okay, for something strong. And the more you daydream about this, the more you manifest about this, the more it, the chances are of it coming into you because right now your manifestation abilities are very strong. Judgment day, you are making a final decision for your greater good, for your destiny, 
okay, for your destiny. But I do feel, guys, that this person is really going to regret what they did. We've got the Five of Cups here and the Ten of Cups. They're realizing that they crossed a line, guys. They're realizing that they crossed a line. And with that, there we go, with that Eight of Wands communication, that this is over with the Death card, they are going to feel rejected. They're going to feel rejected big time. Yeah. Yeah, this person is realizing that you guys are moving on. This person is realizing that you guys are moving on. Um, they are definitely hurting big time. That that Five of Cups is a card of real mourning, wishing that they could go back, wishing that they can take back what they did because they're realizing what they lost here. Okay, so I'm going to take this into uh, the extended um, and I'm actually going to do two separate readings so because i know not everybody is going to be able to resist this x because there's a lot of communication coming in here about the fact that this person may have changed okay so there's a lot of communication here um you know with the death card oh i changed i changed i changed i'm never going to do that to you again so some of you may actually take this person back a lot of you are ready to move on to the new so i am going to take this into the extended and i'm going to um do one reading for the new love one reading if you stay with this topic toxic X. Okay. We're going to pull some Oracle though, to get you guys some advice on this, the animal healing here. Spirit has a plan. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. So guys, this is divine intervention. This is divinely guided. So you see what we have here, this chemistry and this soulmate. What you were feeling is correct. You did meet this person for a reason. There is a reason why you ran into this person. Some of you deep down inside may know the reason and some of you have yet to realize it. Be loyal to what you love, dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. So I feel here, uh, guys, that you guys are very loyal to this person. When you love something, you dedicate, you know, you're in Empress mode. You dedicate your whole life around this person. You give a lot of love. You give a lot of loyalty, but you need that back, okay? You need that back. You need to find somebody that mirrors that, okay? Act as if, chameleon spirit, for me, this is manifestation, baby. Act as if you already have it and you will receive it, okay? Act as if you already have it and you will re receive it. If you guys are looking for loyalty in this connection, maybe spirit has sparked this whole thing so that you guys understand the power of manifestation and prayer. You know, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Um, but with, with, you know, with be with loyal to what you love and act as if, act as if you already have someone in your life that's loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? That's going to move forward with you. So this is big on manifestation, guys. Your manifestation right now for whoever's watching this, maybe, you know, I don't know, we have a full moon right now. So, you know, whatever it is, whoever's watching this, your 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 seventh chakra is very open to the universe, to God. So whatever it is that you want, you will get it. Just be careful what you wish for. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. The link for the extended will be in the description box below. So again, we're going to do a tarot reading on the new love that you're manifesting. We're going to do a tarot reading on this X if you get pulled back in and if you stay with this person, and then we'll pull a bunch of Oracle and clarify that for clarity, uh, for clarity, guidance and advice. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended. Take care. Santa, take care.